Hey yo. Hey yo. Hey yo. Oh, <laughs> hey yo. That one didn't work, did it? No, no. it didn't. Jambob's Music Massacre. Hey up, and hey welcome up. to Jim Bob's Music Massacre. A weekly foray into song where we semantically scrutinise song lyrics, both old and new, popular and unpopular. Mm. We've got a great guest with us today. We have got a great so, guest with us. He's second time back. with us. Come back. They keep coming back. It's great when they come back. It's a great time the first time. Yep, yep. What's and they're getting expenses as well. So brilliant. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my name's Chris. Chris, Chris Price, Price from Price. the Unthanks. Yeah, Price from the Unthanks, yeah. Fame. And uh, other projects. Formerly uh, yeah. a broken joker. Formerly a broken man. Classic, Joker, yeah. he's done some, some serious musical accolades to his yeah. uh, his, his belt. Well, yeah. Um, so yeah, Chris, thanks for joining us. We will ask him later about something you can you can promote some unthanks stuff maybe for. But later, uh, possibly, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, what yeah, have yeah. Got coming up, I've done nothing. Nothing. Later. <laughs> we'll get you yeah. back next week yeah, as well. Then. Yeah. Oh, no, we, we might have Callum next week. So. Oh, right. oh, oh. Imagine Callum and Chris in the this, same. That would be great. We, well, we're probably not imagine, required anymore. Yeah, exactly. We could just <laughs> outsource and you actually get podcast. one more person in this room. <laughs> <laughs> not with a guitar, actually. No. no. Well, you could probably get yeah. a little Mika or something here in the corner. Yeah, remember Mika, great, great producer. She reneged on her contract to produce the show for the next year. She's buggered off to South Africa to film her own project. I've got a series coming. I've written my YouTube. own script. Oh, no, I'm going uh, to yeah, oh, really? Leave us in the lurch. Luckily, Bob and I are like we're still here. Skilled. We're still and here. We can produce and present and Imagine. talk shit at the Harmonize. same time. Harmonise. Yeah. Barbershop. Well, we clearly, clearly, clearly out, yeah. outlined <laughs> an area of work required on the <laughs> harmonising. Um, so yeah, well, let's, let's, let's get... crack on. First song. First song. So it's your first song today, isn't it, Jim? Marvellous. So what song have you so, got for us today, Jim? I've gone for a classic, you know. I, I picked, I've, I've picked some other classics like Gucci Gang yeah. and S Club 7. Oh. This week, Beach Boys. Beach Boys. Ah. Beach Boys, but a lesser known Beach Boys track. Are there any lesser known Beach Boys tracks? I thought they were all equally well known and equally well, well, as famous. They have, they, they're B-sides as well, so I guess they're... Yeah. The B-sides well, are great. You t- roller Skating Girl, you ever heard of that one? No. Mm. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, you, you should have heard of it, Chris. We I've asked you never, to prepare it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've never seen it. Because I think this was... It, it. I think it came... It was on the album... Oh, what was it? Love You came out in 77, so I presume that you two... Just off the top of your head. You two, that was around. Mm. You probably were around. I then. think I might have been born to this song. <laughs> <laughs> Born okay. to this song, I might have been conceived right. oh, to, this to this song, but weirdly, yeah. you didn't become a roller skater. Hmm. No, I did not. I did, well, I, I whoa, I skated in my childhood oh, as, yeah. as children should. As well, as well they should. <laughs> did you have those skates that you like actually strap onto your shoes? Mm. I did have some the, of them the at some point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. I, as you get as you grow older, you can extend them. Extend them, yeah. And then they went into roller boots because those roller mm. skates, and then roller boots. Oh, we didn't have them in Leeds. Leeds, Leeds. Leeds. It's always three. You... Not four. No, not four. So, yeah, this is Roller Skating Girl, um, 1977. Um, it doesn't have a Wikipedia page, so I'm buggered if I really know anything could, about it. Could one of our it's true. fans maybe create a Wikipedia page for Yeah, it? could if there's anyone out there who's a big Beach Boys fan could have created a page for us. Oh, okay. um, MySpace page. A MySpace? <laughs> it's got a MySpace page. I'm, 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 I'm really I'm promoting MySpace. <laughs> <laughs> you invest Your in, space. Yeah. You got in with Justin Timberlake yeah. investing in MySpace. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I don't really know uh, much about this song at all. Uh, Brian Wilson obviously wrote it, Beach Boys. Um, it's weird production, like we're talking about this, but released in 1977. Mm. But it sounds like it's kind of like 80s. It's not. It's not. A, it's not a quintessence. If you want to listen to the original version, then do. We'll post a link to it on yeah, the we uh, on the website. I so will I apparently. Bob yeah. will because <laughs> that's what he does. Um, I love my so links. yeah, so roller skating child. You know, you're picturing this sort of beautiful picture of like a young. A young Are child, you? like like Bob, like back mm-hmm. in the back in the sixties, strapping on his roller yeah. skates. And I was like... slightly older than young in the sixties, <laughs> Jim. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that was my youth. That was your decade, youth, yeah. the sixties. But you perhaps in the cul-de-sac outside your house, having a little skate around. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Let's let's see what Brian's singing about. Well, she's a roller skating child with a ribbon in her hair. She gets my heart to beating when I see her there. You know my heart starts smiling when she sings She's such an angel, I bet she's got wings Well, she makes me... Ah. 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 I'll just pa- pa- mm. pause you there for a minute, Chris. So, yeah. so far, it's yeah. actually, it's not a... Well, I'm hoping it's not, he's not talking about a young child because it seems to be there's some kind of um, sort of sexual right. uh, Im- implication here. I you know, my heart, my heart starts smiling when she sings, unless it's just somebody that he's, you know, a young child that he really... 
cares for. Cares for. Um, but um, she gets my heart beating. Um, his heart starts smiling as well when he sings. Uh, she's such an angel, but she's got wings. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. interesting. So um, well, you can, you know, you can see every other other element of her, and you've not noticed the wings. You're just betting on the fact she's got wings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet she has. Yeah, yeah. I bet she has. Well, because yeah. if she's if she's if it's cold out, she's wearing a jacket. You oh, she's see always it. skating at an angle towards him where he can't see Could where her out, wings would be. Yeah, that's, but that, that would mean a certain premeditation from her part, wouldn't it? To, well. It, there is someone weird just staring at us. <laughs> There's a, weir- a weird guy at the end of the street with binoculars watching yeah, us. Just so. skating backwards away from him. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Well, let's have a listen. Listen to the next bit then, and see. Uh, <laughs> see. You know what is what is this relationship? The bottle of arc. And we'll make sweet loving when the sun goes down. We'll even do more when your mama's not around. Well, oh my, oh gosh, oh gee. She really sends chills inside of me. Great. Okay. Well, so that's kind of. I it's hope. Bit... I hope that's blown my theory out of the water about it being, you know, a young child. Yes. Bearing in mind the song is called Roller Skating Child. Right. And the first, the first bit mentions a roller skating child word, with a ribbon in her hair. You'll notice, Jim, that the word child is never actually used in this song, apart from the title of the first line. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So okay. So. You know, the idea of a girl has been blown out of the water because he's, well, we hope so, because he's making sweet love into her in the first line of the chorus. Well, exactly, like, because it, if you then just take it to the other extreme and it's a bit innocent and it's two children. So say it was like oh. a, a, a 10-year-old seeing a 10-year-old and it's like, oh, yeah, oh, I, yeah, she's really be, pretty yeah. and, you know, you're getting your first feelings, but then... The second line, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so you could, it, it, there's it, two ways it could have gone, but then... So they're making sweet love him when the sun goes down, great. We'll do Great. We'll, we'll, well, with a, well with I'm assuming that but they're, both consenting, <laughs> they're both consenting adults. Or so, both yeah. consenting children. Yes, because I wouldn't want to make any kind of accusation about... The Beach Boys. The Brian Wilson and... and yes, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> there's no, there's no, no, no lawsuit. No, 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 even no. though you have done some work mm. experience in a, in a solicitor's I think office. I, could, <laughs> I think I could defend this with that one week that I worked at Briscoe Burgess back <laughs> for my work experience. <laughs> So, um, makes me love him when the sun goes down. Great. Okay, so he's bagged his, his, his chick. Uh, we'll even do more when your mum is not around. It's like so that implies that they're making sweet loving when mum's around, but when she's mm. gone out of the house, fucking all yeah. all hell's gonna break loose. There's gonna be some weird shit going yeah. down when mum's gone. Water sports not. <laughs> what, uh, what is beyond? <laughs> probably, probably, probably too far. Uh, well, yeah, well, um, no, what you yeah, meant? I was, you I was meant thinking about first song. Water skiing. Absolutely, or, yeah. yeah. I mean, do my mate didn't say more what? Just Since, just, yeah, more. Just, just even but do just more. more. But it just implies just that, do other things. More things. that Brian's holding back. What is more than sweet loving? I don't know. This is it. It's like. But this we've we've already established in several podces that sexually I'm quite naive. So S Club Seven were swingers. Yeah. Um, this is this could voyeurs, be voy- parental yeah. voyeurism. This maybe maybe like Prince in this one when Mum's gone out, he'll tie her to a chair, do lots <laughs> right. of funny faces until she gets scared, and then switch on the neon lights and start playing with himself. Okay. Maybe it's. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine like oh. She's like, come round yours tonight, we can just hang out. She's like, oh, my mum's in. It's like, oh, we'll just oh, do we'll some sweet loving then. We'll yeah, we'll just do sweet loving then. I'll just, sweet I'll just bang your sense. I was hoping for doing more, but it'll just be sweet loving because your mum's around. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, but God knows what more okay. is. But yeah. uh, And then the next line, it's just like, oh, and again, this is... Trying to make it innocent again, aren't they? Yeah. It's like, you've just said, we'll do some freaky shit so, when your mum's out. Well, well oh, oh my, gosh. Oh, gosh, oh, gee. It's like... Come on! I mean, I know this is this sort of sixties, seventies, and mate, they'd written a lot of songs. But come, is that the best we've got? Oh gosh, oh gee, to rhyme with she really sends chills inside of me. Yeah, I don't even know what that means. No, I don't know. I can't, I, that could have been a better line. Yeah. If you've gone to the effort of doing of well, oh, well, oh my, oh gosh, oh gee. Yeah. Surely you've got to have yeah. a good line after but then, it. Hang on, this is the same band, didn't they? Do like do Ron, Ron, Ron as well. No, that was um, <laughs> that was Manfred Man. That was the advert. <laughs> Shit, didn't oh they do? Man. Didn't the Beach Boys do? Some, haven't they done quite a few songs where they got like weird like um, um, dooby doo doo doos and da da. No, it wasn't Manfred Man. That was do a diddy diddy dum diddy do, wasn't yeah, it? Well, yeah, do yeah. run, do run, run, run. That was do that run, was a run, girly was that band, wasn't it? No, that was a Spectre job, wasn't it? The Beach Boys did the surfing one, didn't they? No, that's Frankie Valley. Okay. <laughs> Who are the Beach Boys? <laughs> the Beastie Boys. I thought, Beastie oh, Boys. I yeah, the Beastie Boys. But they do have they do have a, like a, a youth theme through it because they did mm. like. Wouldn't it be nice mm. if we were older? Oh, yeah. Then yeah, we wouldn't have to wait so long. Don't, but don't wish your life away, bro. He got a different girlfriend, didn't he? Because the first girlfriend is like he had to wait till they were older till mm. they could do some sweet loving. This mm. one, he's found a girl whose mum don't mind. Mm. Yeah. When they're uh, right, so let's have a listen to the uh, oh, let's have a listen to the next verse then, if you might. 
They've got a record playing in the skating rink She comes to skating past me and she gives me a wink I go and get my skates on and I catch up with her We do it all in hands, it's so cold I go <laughs> Sorry so that, uh, that is an, so that is an actual mm. line in the song We do it holding hands, it's so cold I go brr, 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 brr. Um, Have you never been so cold that you go no, no, I, I have. I've just oh, right. never written a song where I was so desperate for a rhyme that I used the word or oh, the non the the, the the sound of brr. Well, the, you couldn't because it's already been done. You know, well, yeah, you, quite. You yeah. were born a long time before this. So, you, um, so yeah, so um, I that's a major issue with that line. It's just, it's just terrible. Really. It's so cold. I wore fur. That would have been yeah, exactly. That, that would have been oh, so better, wouldn't it? I'm just thinking of other lines. Of, so yeah, so cold. So I, cold. So, cold. Yeah, I wore I, a nice I mink wore fur. fur. Yeah. Or um, yeah. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know what much so more got, to say. But we've gone to an ice it's... skating ring. But well, okay, so this is this is where the confusion comes in because it's a roller skating girl, but now they're ice skating. She just loves sk skating, she loves skating in all forms. Yeah, it's a ice skating, roller skating, roller blading. Yeah, but it's, it, why girl. would they not? Why would they say, well, she's a roller skating child right there off? Yeah, when when she would have just left it sort of skating a bit more child. ambiguous. She's a skating yeah, she's child. A skating child. She skateboarding, roller skating, roller She's just a skater skating. gal. She's she just, said, she's see you later, pal. Yeah, 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 that kind of vibe. I think yeah. I got my first strap on roller skates when I was about <laughs> four years old. <laughs> Sorry, you mentioned uh, roller skates. What, you got your first strap on when? Roller skates. <laughs> oh, right. I, I got my first strap on you know, as a present from you on my eighth <laughs> birthday. I was just a roller skating child, and then suddenly you turned up in my life giving me, like, highly inappropriate presents. <laughs> it was weird. <laughs> I don't know why. But, you know... My mum didn't mind, so I just went along with it. But it's actually she, oh, yeah, was she there. Suggested. Yeah, my mum was there. Oh, she, yeah. She suggested well, it. Well, when she left. Chris, when she left, I don't want to talk about it anymore. It was... Well, it possibly have... Like, too soon. Yeah. Did you go... We did more. Did you go... Oh, that's all I'll say. We did more. Water skiing or something like that. Did you go... No, we, play, we played... Uh, particularly opulent showers in the, yeah, in a, yeah, in the golden yeah. hue. We played, like, World of Warhammer and stuff like that. It was... It was terrible. Well, well, World of Warcraft. It's like, Mum, come back so we can make sweet love in again. I, just, I don't want to just play this World of Warcraft anymore. Jim, please. So who are we making sweet love in with? You. Oh, me. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember it, weirdly. Oh, yeah. That, was that said, that time I woke up? You said that in the, in the, in the trial. Like a day later on a train back to Leeds. Like, Leeds, I, Leeds. I can't remember Bob's birthday. Hey, Bob, when you give him that present, I bet Bob says, you know what you can do with your present? You can shut your ass. ass. Hey! <laughs> Woo! Chris from the Unthanks, everybody. Chris from the Unthanks. That's it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was, I'm not representing the Unthanks right now, as long as you know Absolutely that. Absolutely not. I'm, I'm a, you it's can, a total separate the, the views thing. expressed in this podcast this Chris in Price. no way represent the Unthanks. Chris there, Price uh, of the Unthanks, but not representing yeah. no. the Unthanks. Just so you However, know. the Price grants of Hitchin are absolutely represented here today. Um, so, yeah, we can put this to bed now, I think. But... Um, yeah, so therein lies my uh, Put my what beef. to bed? The roller skating child? Roller skating child. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, no, we've just talked about figuratively, that. Figuratively. Figuratively, not literally, obviously. Yeah. Um, so yeah, thanks, Brian, but um, just a little bit too weird for me, this one. Jim's oot. <laughs> <laughs> Bob's in his weird Indian accent again. I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Canadian. Jim's but... oot. <laughs> If you'd like to be our guest musician, then get in touch. You can find us at jimboggsmusicmassacre.com, drop us an email, and we'll get back to you. Mix metaphors. Mix metaphors. Mix metaphors. Mix metaphors. Mix metaphors. Okay, so we've got a good mixed metaphor today. This is from uh, an apprentice contestant in uh, 2005. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, you've been doing some serious research on these, haven't you? Yeah, I, I googled mixed metaphoid. <laughs> Domain name don't we own that? not been taken. Yeah, we own it now. Good, yeah. Yeah, but we don't own mixed metaphoids. Oh. Just mixed metaphoid. Dot com. Right. Dot com. Uh, yeah, so an apprentice contest in 2005 failed a task and said that that left a sour taste in the client's eye. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that is, yeah. That's and then she went on to say that uh, her team were dancing around in a bush <laughs> no no it's not dancing around in a bush dancing around the bush oh right oh rather than beating around the bush yeah wow she was uh, she was did she win uh, <laughs> <laughs> actually it was actually him it was, oh. it was Gary Poulton oh that's I, I, Gary yeah was that very sexist of me to assume it was a woman or did you no I said woman, woman because oh, okay. uh, the the article that I got it from was written by a woman right okay so is I, Gary not the lady's name <laughs> hey Gary, Gary. <laughs> Look, what? Gary, I'm not from Hollywood. I'm not going to fuck your face. Now get in the limo. 
Jim, stop being so <laughs> cis. Okay, anyway. <laughs> We can't just drop into. I I get any opportunities to pull out a Team America. (laughs) We can't just drop into Team America quotes. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god! Next is going to be Anchorman quotes. (laughs) (laughs) I'm a very funny man. I can do quotes from Anchorman, (laughs) Team America, and Anchorman. That's That's it. it. Hot shots. I've got quite a few from Hot Shots as well. I do Hot Shots. Mine. Presenting the 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 nineties. Yeah. Mixed metaphors. Mixed metaphors. Mixed metaphors. Mixed metaphors. Mixed metaphors. We're always on the lookout for pedantoids, mixed metaphors, and misheardoids here at Jim Bob's Music Massacre. So if you've got any, please get in touch. You can contact us at Twitter, which is at Jim Bob's Music, Facebook, and Instagram, where Jim Bob's Music Massacre. Or you can visit our website, jimbobsmusicmassacre.com. Miss Birdos, Miss Birdos, Miss Birdos, Miss Birdos. Miss Birdos, Miss Birdos. So, um, <coughs> this mix mess, this Miss Herdoid. Miss Herdoid. Is uh, from. Hello, Zaggy, Miss Herdoid. It's from Claire, <laughs> Claire in London, who, um, Michael Jackson, don't stop. Um, Till you get enough. I used to think it was don't stop till you get it up. Oh, that's not when you you can't start till you get it up, well, can yeah, you? Well, no, that's but yeah, it's like exactly like don't stop. <laughs> well, yeah. That Once what, you've got it up, stop. That's why I found it such a confusing song. It's like I can't start because I can't I can't stop, but I can actually start. So don't start to get it up. But um, he basically sings. Um, no, what does he sing? Here we go. Um, keep on with the force. Don't don't stop till you get it up. Keep on with the force. Don't. Don't stop till you get it up. But Claire what from does that work? Claire, like? What's he say with the force? With the force, don't. It's just saying, don't stop with, with the, the force. force don't. don't. Don't stop. Don't yeah, stop. I mean, it's kind of like it weird. But um, uh, Claire thought it was, don't stop with a post box. Don't stop till you get it up. Yeah. Don't stop with a post, post box. box. It kind of sounds like post. Who's mm. Claire? Yeah. Claire. Claire from Walthamstow. Oh, hi, Claire from Walthamstow. So she emailed in. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's my uh, <laughs> mess. I died. Me. 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 <laughs> um, <laughs> should we do another song then? Yeah. Before this just like deteriorates oh, into absolute right, okay. nonsense. Which there we kind go. Of has already. <laughs> I don't know what this song is, You're but you listening to the smooth tunes. <laughs> Jim Bob's Music Massacre. Smooth Classics at 7 with Chris Price. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, so the, you probably know what that is from uh, from that it intro there. Sounds a little bit like Year 3000 by Buster. <laughs> it's Year 3000 <laughs> by Gun. Yeah. Yeah. It's in Canny, isn't it? It's in Canny. It's, it's like the it's lounge version. Canny, yeah. the lounge. It's the lounge version. So, yeah, hmm. Buster, uh, don't really remember much about them. They were a rock band. Yeah. Pop rock band from South End on Sea, consisting of James Byrne, Matt Willis, and Charlie Simpson. Mm. Now, can you guess how many albums Busted have sold worldwide? Oh, mm. sold for oh gosh, no. um, six. <laughs> no, Jed, can you have a try? Sixty no. million. Sixty million. Yeah, I don't know. It's uh, ten million. Well, it's five million. Oh, right. it's there, not can you guess how many number ones they've had in the UK? Eight. Ooh, good guess. Oh, it's a five. Four. Oh, right, okay. So they, they're well, most. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was nil all, Jim. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, we're talking, we're not talking closest. No. Oh, okay. It was exact. So, right. <laughs> so, so, we didn't do our research. And that was an exact figure, five million. It was it five million one? <laughs> it was, was exact. Up. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, one funny thing that I read about Bussard was uh, when they were first launched in August 2002, they were the cover, uh, they were on the cover of Smash Hits oh. with the headline, Meet Bussard, they're going to be bigger than Rick Waller. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Those, was that, we're yeah. talking about like in like I volume I forgot about all three of them oh, amalgamated oh, together would be big bigger than Rick, Rick Waller's hit. Rick what Waller did didn't he? Was it Pop Idol? Or something? Rick Waller, yeah, was Pop Idol. It was it was good because he had a he had a great voice and but he didn't have the look of a Pop Idol. But the public were getting behind him and everything. But then unfortunately he had to drop out because of a bad bout of laryngitis. Oh mm. right. So yeah, Year 3000 is an absolutely amazing, fun track. And, you know, we just have to listen to it and then talk about it because there's just lots of good good stuff Great. in there. Yeah. <laughs> One day 
When I came home at lunchtime, I heard a funny noise. Went out to the backyard to find out if it was one of those fucking rowdy boys. Stood there with my neighbor called Peter and a flux capacitor. He told me he built a time machine like one in a film I'd seen. Yeah. He said I've been. Oh, why do I say? Why do I do this? He said I've been to the year 3000. Not much has changed, but they all live underwater. And your great 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 granddaughter, you're spray fine. Yeah, so uh, brilliant. I mean, first first standout for me there is. Uh, you know the name drop of his neighbour Peter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was it, it wasn't Peter Parker, was it? it could it, well because he was heavily modern... involved with sort of like science and uh, you know Peter Parker. I think it was Peter Purvis from uh, from, from Blue Peter. From Blue Peter, could yeah. have been. Yeah. Could have been modern... Blue Peter. Many... Peter Pan. Could have been Peter Pan. <laughs> <laughs> it's only it had to be an alliterated though. Peter Parker, Peter Purvis, Peter Pan. I think it's Peter, Peter Piper. Piper. Peter Pickle Peppers. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Pecker, Pickle Peppers. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, well, I mean... Yeah, but I love the way he mentions Peter and then he's just casually, oh yeah, Peter was out in the garden playing, no, he's playing the flux capacitor. Well, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it, could, it, could have, it could have dropped any name in there, so why didn't he just use someone from Back to the Future? I was stood there with my neighbour called Dr. Marty Brown. Marty McFly. <laughs> Matt, yeah, Marty. Alliterated Mc... again. Yeah. Whoa. Interesting that you say Bruce McFly, Banner. Marty McFly. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Hey, parallels here. No, actually, so it was, the guy who wrote it, his favourite film was Back to the Future, and then they were the management of McFly, weren't they? So he oh, probably right. named them McFly. Oh, really? Right, there you go, yeah. Or maybe he's tried to rhyme uh, Peter, Peter with neighbour. Flux capacitor. No, it, you know, stood there. Internal rhyme. The neighbour yeah. called oh. Peter. It kind of it's internal cool. rhyme, the neighbour, Peter, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll give it Peter, neighbour, Peter, you know, yeah. It's and the then... neighbour spelled incorrectly, though, should have a U in it, not neighbour. Oh, I've got a U in mine. Well, yeah. But that's because... <clears> we need to go onto the internet and correct yeah, it. Yeah, you've, yes, got, you've got an American uh, thingy there, haven't you? Know, yeah. dare I. So then, then Peter goes on to tell him about... Just casually. We, yeah. What have you been up to, Pete? Well, it, it's kind of obvious because I'm studying next to this flux capacitor <laughs> and you know what it is. So you know what I've been doing. I've been time travelling. And I'll tell you where I've been. I've been to the year 3000. Yeah. And you know what? Notes changed. <laughs> Notes changed. Not, nothing at all. Nothing's changed. Oh, wow. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, they do live underwater. <laughs> ah. Well, hang on. But that, that's a direct contradiction of your first bit, which said nothing's changed. Because oh. if everyone lives underwater, then that's vastly different from, <laughs> from certainly 2018. Oh, no, not, nothing's really. Unless they exist underwater ex in exactly the same way. Ooh. Like, they don't swim. They're just, they're just underwater. But what year did this come out, this song? 2002. 2002. Okay, so we were sort of like, this was at the beginning of like global warming and sort of like environmental change. <laughs> at the beginning, not the industrial revolution of the 1850s. <laughs> well, at the beginning of our awareness of how, oh, right, not how carbon this. dioxide was creating a rise in general oh, right. global temperatures. Jim's, so, been a, Jim's been a climate change denier since <laughs> until 2002. <laughs> that was the year when Jim first that was, accepted that, that the climate first, change yeah, might be was. a problem. Uh, I mean, well, all the world was supposed to blow up in 2000, wasn't it? Well, yeah, it? exactly. So, I, I mean, didn't you know, see past I mean, the millennium because it was all going to shit. But this is why it's all underwater. Yeah. Ice caps have melted. But still a fuckload has changed. Well, that's a lot. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's, yeah. I don't know. It's like, how's things? Yeah, like in your personal life. How's mm. things? Yeah, not much has changed. But oh. I have evolved from a carbon-based life form to a methane-based life form. <laughs> like, All right, yeah, fine. Everything's we, fucking changed. Yeah, our, our Debbie did that. But you well. wouldn't say that, would you? You'd say... Um, <laughs> well, I've got a phone next to my head. Yeah, and a water phone. What the fuck happened? For the listeners, for the listeners yeah. out there, Chris yeah. had a, a phone by his head. <laughs> more on my fingers. <laughs> for any of you that were confused by the fact that Chris was having a making a phone gesture out there on this recorded piece of footage, then footage. God, I've got I've oh, lost God. it now as well. You two need to calm down. Uh, yeah, uh, let's, relax. Together. let's relax. Let's relax. So. Oh, right. That's classic Peter Peter Parker though, isn't it? He just downplays everything. Oh, what have you been up to? Oh, not much. I just, just built this time just machine. Just got bit by a radioactive it's, spider. Yeah, just been crawling yeah. up walls and <laughs> fighting crime. Not a lot, you know. Don't okay, worry. so Peter's living such a full and varied life that the whole planet living underwater is not considered a big, meaningful yeah. change for him. But then why drop that in then? Well, yeah. It's like not much has changed. We'll end it there if, if exactly. living yeah, underwater is not. If you look, then you read the next line. You can yeah. see like, great, you've got, you've great got the reason why. It's pretty Because he finds the granddaughter. Ah, right. So, oh, yeah. That's, that's, the, that's the only reason why they would have said water. Well, this, this next line is one that 
upsets me quite a lot as it well. It upsets me as well. Yeah, like, yeah. Me so, as well. You say like, why? Mm. And your great, great, great granddaughter. There needs to be at least 15 greats in there, doesn't there? It's pretty fine. You're like, <laughs> yeah. mate. She'd be like 150, wouldn't she? No, but, no, needs, no, but, but he's, be... he's in the year 3000. Yeah. So his great, great, great granddaughter, that's generations in the future. Yeah. So he went to the year 3000. Yeah, but from 2002, like, what Chris is saying, is oh, right. at least 15, 15 greats. greats. It's only his great, great, great granddaughter. Which would take us up to about... That's six generations. Know, like, yeah. It would probably take us a couple hundred years. In... 2000 and... A couple hundred years away? I don't know. Yeah, you do the math. Well, well... We need to get the science. Wait, me, right. me and Chris are from Barnsley, so it's yeah. average. An average generation is thirteen it's to fourteen thir- yeah, years. Yeah, it's, so. yeah, isn't it? yeah. Well, when you, when you work down the pits. So. <laughs> but your great, 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 great daughter, she's just yeah. pretty fine. Your great, great, great granddaughter, who's a mermaid, she's all right. <laughs> it took me to the future in the flux thing, and I saw everything: boy bands, and another one, and another one, and another one. <laughs> I'm not doing triple the breasted, need to. <laughs> triple breasted women swim around town totally naked. What are you yeah. Triple breasted women swim around town totally naked. What? But yeah. that's changed. Pia. But, <laughs> Pia. Dude. That, like, doesn't, that doesn't do oh, anything for me at all, triple breasted women. <laughs> no, it does. There's one in Total Recall, isn't it? And it just was weird. Yeah. But I unless, got, five, unless I got the, five kids to feed. Oh, there's another, another, another <laughs> unless film the breast, quote. Unless the third breast is on the back and yeah. I can't see it, then, then, then that's, that's fine. Right, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Except turn around and that's going to be weird. It's just a big bat Hanging in down the middle of a back. Do, do you not love a back breast? <laughs> for, for all you people out there who've got back boobs, you know. Oh, like. Peter, like, what, how can you possibly? I mean, the underwater thing may be slightly forgivable, but banging on about triple breasted women <laughs> swimming around totally naked, it's like nothing's mm. changed. How is that in any way relatable to today? Mm. <laughs> There's not even like double breasted women walking around <laughs> naked, like, yeah. let alone triple breasted swimming around. Is my great 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 granddaughter one of these triple breasted women swimming around? Because <laughs> that doesn't sound pretty fine to me. Wow, that's amazing. So, what a great song. Busted. Well, here's hoping that you know they come back soon. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to take you, Jim, if they. Uh... To a concert? Yeah, that'd be amazing. Yeah. Do you reckon I'll take you as well, Chris. I'll Sorry, I'll I'll to leave you out. No, there. I mean, exactly. <laughs> you, you have to pay for your ticket. Yeah. I can come. I probably would. I, Awkward that. moment there. <laughs> the reason <laughs> I thought he's gone. The reason I thought I, I wouldn't take you is you'd probably be supporting them, <laughs> won't you? Well, they'd be supporting me. I would imagine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh. There we go. Buster. I mean, if it was at a, like a two hundred capacity ve- provincial town venue, I guess. But if it's at the O2, yeah. I would imagine that we'd be supporting them. Mm. Mm. That's it. That's it for us, isn't it, Swift? That's another, we're out. We're done. Another episode of Jim Bob's episode Music done. Massacre done. This Massive thank you to uh, thank you Chris Price, legends in. coming yep. in. Um, I think you should probably play, play us out with your lounge version of the Busted song, Chris. Yes. Yes. Right. One day when I came home at lunchtime, I heard a funny noise. I went out to the backyard to find out it was one of those rowdy boys I stood there with my neighbour called Peter and a flux capacitor He told me he built a time machine like the one in a film I'd seen Yeah I said <laughs> He said, I've been to the year 3000 Nothing much has changed (laughs) But they live underwater (laughs) And your great, great, grand, great Granddad's <laughs> daughter, your great granddad's <laughs> daughter. Your great granddad's great granddaughter. That's, that's me, isn't it? He said, I've been to the year 3000. Not much has changed, but they live underwater. And your great, great, great granddaughter is pretty fine. Ooh, yeah, she's pretty fine. If you've enjoyed Jimbo's Music Massacre, then please do give us a share on social media. It helps us to build a bit of a fan base. And if you're on iTunes, then please do give us a rating in iTunes. Thanks a lot. <laughs>